Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Daw. I'm Kevin Ochoa, and today I want to share with you guys how to set up FL Studio plugins from the FL Studio Cloud. So if I go to Tools, under FL Cloud, I have Sounds Mastering Distribution. Let's click on Plugins. And right here, you're going to upload, or sorry, open the app for the FL Studio uh, Cloud Instruments and Effects. As you can see here, here's my library of effects. The Tim of ImageLine was kind enough to send me a pro trial. So um, let's go ahead and download some of these. So let's say, let's download something that has a small installer. Let's see. And that I don't have because I have all the UVA stuff. Let's just stick to the um, Verbum. Let's install that. It's going to prompt me and say, hey, you, the FL Cloud installer is going to try to do a change to your device. Let's say yes. And there you go. It's going to start working. And as easy as that, it is going to install it. When I go over to FL Studio, when I go to my plugins, this should be under some of these. That's a search verbum. There you go. And now I can drag verbum in here. And it's in there. So this is actually quite uh, interesting for me because this was definitely the most smooth install experience I've ever had with any plugin ever. So how how does this look like in the back end? In the back end, I have my typical um, folders that have been created for my VST in the documents folder, and also the VST is added to the common slash VC3 folder. Let me show you that in a second. Okay, so here I am inside everything. It's a nice file search app for Windows, kind of similar to the, the Spotlight search, but more dedicated towards finding files. Now here I have the Verbum folders that have been created. I have the, the FL Studio uh, FST folder, or file, sorry. And then I also have the, the PNG that is this that belongs to here. So if I were to right click here and select locate file, it would show me this just like it shows me here on everything. Now, if I go to the VSC3 folder, I can right click and select open path. It's going to be here inside my VSC3 folder. So there you go. It's actually a very quick way to install things. Um, yeah, it might seem like a steep price, a hundred bucks a year for the for the subscription. Now I need to give it a shot, you know, and actually use it. But if it's gonna save me two hours of my life already, having to install these plugins manually, this is gonna make it worth it. So yeah, I think this is a great little uh, feature, uh, this smooth installation, it's fantastic. So let me download something else. Combustor from WA Production, install. And it's pretty much it. If I come back to FL Studio and type in Combustor, It's right there. <laughs> so yeah, it's fantastic. Prior to this on FL Studio, you'd have to open up a settings dialog, go to file, manage plugins, and then do a whole plugin scan, which takes a lot of time. If you're using FL, you know this takes a lot of time. You could take, in my case, sometimes 30 to 45 minutes to do a whole entire plugin scan, which is something I do not want to do every single time. So there's an actual feature for um fast scanning, um, which it's a bit or miss in my point of view, right click on the browser and then select refresh plugin list. And it's going to try its best to do a plugin scan. As you can see, it's scanning right now. It says fast scanning completed. I'm actually very lucky it worked this time. I'm going to press OK. And then now if I go to uh, effects and then new, you see here that I have my new plugins that I've added lately. Uh, ProQ4 is one of them. So if I can drag and drop it in here, boom, there we go. And then for me to add it to my database, I'd have to go to, let's say, um, effects and then Mally put it in here, filter. And you see you got Porky 4 right there. I'm just going to do it again. Add to plugin database, plug as favorite and boom, it'll add it right there. Let's add it to a different category just to um, show you how that works. And boom, it's out of there. So this is pretty smooth um, for ProQ. However, for other plugins, this thing will not show up. So you manually have to create the picture, add it on there, and it's a bit of a hassle. So 
the FL Cloud plugin installation is actually awesome for me. If I, you know, find myself using these plugins over and over again, this is definitely worth the entry price alone. I've yet to use the sounds. So if you guys want to see me use the FL sounds in a future video, let me know. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nifty, nifty um, addition. Josh, one of the team members at ImageLine mentioned that this was a really quick way to install plugins and I wanted to check it out. This definitely delivers. And I think, like I said again, if I use these plugins and find them to be something that I use over and over again, this is definitely worth the entry price alone. Um, if for some reason ImageLine could get more companies to actually, you know, add them into these, this way to install plugins, It'd be very beneficial. Anyway, I'm going to stop yapping now. And all right, this is going to be it for this video. If you learned something new, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification so you stay up to date with all the content we have here at In The Daw. Once again, I'm Kevin Ochoa, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.